what you're attracted to. Absorb it. You don't have to buy anything. Just have to see what heals you. What does your body say? I want to look at that longer. Was it this one? Because that's your third eye. That's everything to do with your psychic ability, intuition. Okay, again, pink always represents your inner child, but also having to do with childhood memories, even if they weren't great. The childhood memory that maybe one of them was good, a couple of them were good. Um, and this is to let you know that you always have your spiritual uh, guardian, angels, and spirit guides watching over you all the time. Um, and they want you to remember when you were a child and when you, things that you wanted to do when you were a child. This is called pink, pink protection. It's also good for your crown chakra, the white on it. Then we have Prince, of course, the purple one. Crown chakra and third eye. Retro ready. People ignore their root chakra and then you start to have back problems and you start to have weight problems and you start to have leg problems and you start to have sexual problems. I uh, can't ignore your red root chakra. You need to have more red around you. That's the first chakra. Christina, Christine and Jonathan. If you're attracted to this, let me know and I'll let you know what it means. This is a print of God's horses. Okay. Um, I made it like two or three times and Something told me put it back up again because I think some people still need it. Crown chakra, spiritual awakening, also psychic ability. Ba babe, there's a bad storm in the no in uh, well, New York. Those people in the East Coast, my kids. Uh, Laura, Laura Donnelly, um, my stepdaughter Olivia Simpson, and my son Thomas John Donnelly. Be careful out there. Also, my sisters Patricia, brother-in-law John, Karen and Jimmy in Jersey, my sister Susan, my brother Tommy, be careful with the snow, my sister Christine, okay, third eye chakra, um, this I was surprised that nobody ever asks about, sister's synchronicity, it's for your heart chakra, but it's also about friendship, friendship and family. When you're trying to have a friend or a relationship, um, you shouldn't hang up pictures of just one person. You should hang up pictures of, of more than one person. Like if you're trying to find a lover um, or a relationship, like a spouse, you should hang up pictures of like two people kissing or two people in the picture um, or friendship, two people two or more people because um, if you just hang up pictures with single um, then you remain single 
Okay, green is for the heart chakra, of course. The silver essence helps the crown chakra. Okay, and this is, I decided to name this Scarlet after my friend Flyer B because she helped me with the name. Because this one was not giving me a name, it was get, get, getting me confused. So sc instead of Scarlet O'Hara, it's Scarlet O O'Corn. I know that sounds stupid, but Scarlet. If you like Scarlet, um, she touches base with your heart chakra as well as your um, the orange is your sacral chakra. A little bit of blue too. You just touch it and breathe in. All my work is made touchable. Okay. Woman warrior. Or your root chakra. A little bit for your throat chakra. Yes, we can do it. Okay. This was my fall uh, and it has a beautiful burgundy color in the background but I think I love fall most of all okay if you buy the beach if you like the beach it's full of powder blue which is your throat chakra and some white and brown um, but if you like this beach one, it comes with this one. I put, I throw that in for free because it looks nice together. Doesn't it look nice together? There's a lot of salty but sweet people out there. <laughs> Anyhow. Inner Child Nirvana. Which I gave a facelift. I, it was three different kinds of pink and I made it a, a, a deeper pink. I don't know why I did that like a year later. Oh, and I didn't even sign it. I gotta sign that. Okay, this used to be purple and nobody liked it. So I made it grayish sparkle for your crown chakra. The other one is for your heart. Heart chakra. Where is it? That one's for your heart chakra. And it just shows you all the chakras. It's really cool. I think it's cool. Sister's trip. Third eye, but also the green the um yellow is solar plexus and the orange is your sacral. I just like to touch this because I shellacked it so much and it's just, you breathe in and you feel your third eye being activated. I could just stare at that forever. And you see how a triangle, there's like a triangle and the letter A that came through after the glue. Sometimes things like that happen and I get mad but then I, I'm happy with it. Let me just go over. Hold on, hold on. There's Devin. Devin, say hi. Hi. Look over here. No. <laughs> Devin's shy. Okay. We have Tommy Extra, which I'm gonna I'm going to do a thing on Tommy Extra. Tommy Extra art and my books. Um that's to come. Uh this is the blues, USA blues, sorry, there's a lot to remember. This is for your throat chakra, but it can also be for your red root chakra, um, but mostly for your throat chakra, expressing yourself, expressing loyalty, expressing love, expressing your authentic self. Really big canvas. 
I'm sure somebody knows somebody out there that loves cars, and especially old-fashioned cars. In the 1950s, I think. 1940s, 50s, okay. And then we have Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. Benjamin is over here because I'm running out of wall space. And this is just something I'm working on for myself just for Christmas. Then a lot, of, this was a big seller, so I put it out again because this helps people to understand the chakras. We have red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple. Anyhow, Pasa's Paradise is still kicking it. has all the colors of the chakras but mainly blue and green and it's just really peaceful it's like looking at an aquarium I always stare at it because I love the beach and this is the closest I get to the beach this is um when the student is ready then they will see the unicorn in the forest. And apparently no student has been ready. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> okay. The background color. It took me so long. I actually made this for somebody and then they did not buy it. And it made me kind of mad. But then I said, you know what? Or Devin told me, if the person didn't buy it, and that that painting wasn't meant for them so it's good that I kept it anyhow um, the color they wanted a certain kind of lavender grayish color so I had a mix at, at first I had it one color and they didn't like it because they said it would clash with their walls so then I made it into this very, very light lavender grayish color that tapped in with the unicorn. Okay, and they still didn't buy it, so it's okay. They bought other stuff. Now I never see them anyway, so go with God. Namaste. <laughs> okay, so if you're attracted to that, those colors, the lavender is definitely for your third eye and your crown chakra. Also, we have green, a lot of green, and we have brown is the hearth, and family represents having a stable family unit. Then we have this fun piece for the solar plexus. Mainly, I made this for the solar plexus. Anybody with ulcers or depression, um, they say yellow is the happiest color. That's why God made the sun. Okay, so. And it's called peace. <laughs> Obviously. I, I think it was, I made it something else, like just peace or still pe peace still or still peace. I'm not sure, but you could just say yellow peace if you're interested. Again, not a lot of money. Then we have Daphne. Daphne was light blue. Nobody loved her, so people told me to change her into like a peachy, beige-ish white. And I did. Um, so what is she good for? She is definitely good for your crown chakra. And also a little bit of your heart chakra. Uh, feeling love for yourself, feeling love for your spiritual awakening. I think it came out really nice. This is called a kaleidoscope. Okay, yes, it is a print of a painting that I did a while ago that somebody bought. Um, but I think that I bought kaleidoscope back because when I bought the horses out, I said they need the horse, they need God's horses, and they also need kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope is good for all the chakras. Okay, and so of course when I put this on a canvas, um, I do all of the glitter 
again. And yes, these are actually rainbow candles that I put all around the canvas. And doesn't it look like a butterfly? <laughs> so if you just need to help all of your chakras, you stare at the kaleidoscope for a while. You put your hand on it. You breathe in. You absorb it. Yeah, I'm proud of kaleidoscope. I'm not trying to be a braggadocia, um, but now we have Autumn Harvest, which I thought really would have, as soon as I made it, I thought it was going to get bought, but it didn't. Uh, I'm very proud of it too, because you can feel the tiles, you can feel the flowers, and this is for two, two chakras, your root, red root chakra, you can see the red in the flowers, your red root chakra, and also your sacral chakra so if you people who have back problems or sexual problems trying to have a baby they have prostate prostate problems the, my art is for male and female it's not just for female my art is unisex every sex my art is for butterflies and dragonflies if you understand that meaning I don't really understand it I just thought it was fun to say then we have Brady from Tommy Extra Book. He likes everything to do with space. He likes the color red. He likes cupcakes and soccer and number seven and space and raccoons because he looks like a raccoon. We have the zoo from Tommy Extra as well. Okay. Then we have the dock of the bay. I don't know why people didn't like this. I like it because I walk on it and sit right here. Um, it's for your throat chakra. It's turquoise, so it's for your throat chakra and your heart th chakra. Those two chakras are for turquoise, and then you see the yellow and the orange, so solar plexus and your sacral. You put, you hang this up in your bathroom, you'll have something to look at. And by the time you finish going to the bathroom, no, you don't have to put it in your bathroom. You could put it in your bedroom. You could put it in your living room. You could put it in your hallway. I don't like putting things in the hallway because you, you just walk past them and you don't bother to touch them and stare at them. You need to put this in a place where you're going to stare at it. Also, very inexpensive. Oh, when doves fly. Crown chakra and throat chakra. And it's really, you can absorb that energy. This is on a tarot card, but this is actually was a card, but I have this on one of my tarot cards. Okay, real starfish right there. yoga that's only 28 and, and and it's really peaceful okay butterfly hot books these are for me so when I do your signs I know exactly the birthdays but I made those okay Namaste, everybody. I hope this helps you to understand my work and the understanding of a dragonfly. I'm going to leave it at Shawn Michael. Namaste.